some performances steal the show, while others are unforgettable for completely different reasons. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Eurovision performances. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're focusing on the most memorable live performances, judging on showmanship and unique flair. A challenging feat since every year there are interesting entries for ESC. Classic entries like ABBA's Waterloo are excluded since they gave good but static performances. Number 10. It's My Life. Cesar from Romania. Love is so deep, and it makes my life complete. We know what you're thinking. Glowing orbs, smoke machines, and a bedazzled Dracula? It gets better. What makes this performance by Romania's Cesar noteworthy is the singer's vocal range paired with dubstep and nudish dancers on stage. <laughs> Admittedly, the dancers are a bit distracting, but we're guessing that if they were painted any color but red, that it would clash with the decor. Here's the thing, it's never boring, and instead draws you in until the song ends and you want to hit replay. Joke all you like about Cesar, but it takes balls to represent your country, sing in falsetto for millions of viewers, and make it look effortless. Don't tell the gods I left a mess, I can't undo what has been done. Number 9. Heroes. Mans Salmerlöv from Sweden. Stupid, sexy Swedish Mans. He said, Go dry your eyes and live your life like there is no tomorrow. This feast for the eyes won the competition that year with captivating visuals and choreography that was perfectly synchronized between Mans and the animation being projected behind him. But we're dancing with the demons in our minds. It could have easily been cheesy, but instead, it stunned audiences with its simplicity and dynamic storytelling. And natural on stage, Mons knows how to engage the audience. It's also easy to chalk up the performance's success on the visuals, but a large part of it is due to Mons's energetic presence. We are the heroes. Number 8. Hold Me, Farid Mamadov from Azerbaijan. This entry isn't groundbreaking for the song, but rather its creative choreography. It may be difficult to reinvent a chest-pounding love song, yet it doesn't take a genius to rhyme smile with mile. Even though the lyrics are lackluster, we have to give props to the dancer whose sole job is to mirror the singer's movements while trapped in a glass box. Glass box that is then flooded with rose petals because, you know, symbolism. Find a way to carry on. Ooh, oh. ha. Ha. Number 7. Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan from Germany. One of the beautiful things about Eurovision is the unpredictability of certain performances. Case in point, the theatrically dressed German band Genghis Khan, who sang about the dreaded Mongolian warlord. At a time when Eurovision had a live orchestra and limited space, the group hammed it up with outlandish Mongolian costumes and their comical version of Genghis Khan, who commanded the stage by twirling and dancing around. Although the song depicts the bloodthirsty ruler with broad strokes, it's a catchy disco tune with a cheesy ensemble. Number 6. Wild Dances. Ruslana from Ukraine. Just baby, crazy, First impressions are important, and the best way to get everyone's attention is to have a powerful opening. Say, uh, a few battle horns? Oh, and don't forget percussion. From the start, Wild Dances is a hit with the audience as they chant and clap in time with the leather-clad performers on stage. The performance is distinct for its mix of English and Ukrainian lyrics and infectious energy. It's also impressive how Ruslana manages to sing through all the head tossing and wild dancing. Wild dances didn't just win that year, it netted Ukraine's first Eurovision win ever. Now that calls for some dancing. Number 
5. Rise Like a Phoenix. Conchita Verst from Austria. You wouldn't know me at all. Through the years of Eurovision, flame graphics and pyrotechnics have been widely used for that wow factor. For this entry, it's a welcome addition to Conchita Verst's mesmerizing vocals. No one could have witnessed what you did to me. The slow burn performance is unique not just for its singer, but also for standing apart from other entries that are typically fast paced and crowded with dancers. Rise Like a Phoenix transcends for being such an inspirational performance and evoking strong sentiments. A beloved fan favorite, Conchita not only won the hearts of many, she also won the song contest that year. Number 4. We Could Be The Same, Manga From Turkey This entry is a delight to the senses. Turkish alternative rock band Manga deliver a hypnotic act with their five-piece ensemble, a wicked light show, and rapid-fire lyrics calling for unity. Oh, and don't forget the metallic Power Ranger in the background. That Turkish act stands out for its combination of modern with traditional, a factor which made Manga a strong contender for the finals. We Could Be The Same is unique for its rich blend of new metal, hip-hop, and Anatolian melodies. Even though Manga finished in second place, their performance and message still resonates. Hallelujah. Number 3. Hard Rock Hallelujah, Lordy from Finland. Oh Lordy Lordy. We'd be wrong in admitting this sensational performance and honestly, we're still surprised that Finland sent a heavy metal band to represent them. Enter Mr. Lordy and his Hellions who enthrall the audience with their deadly ensemble of drums, electric guitars, and guttural vocals. Adding to the spellbinding and hellish melody are the full body costumes and special effects makeup that solidify the entire performance. We also have to give props for those gorgeous demonic wings that unfurl seemingly out of nowhere. Lordy were the undisputed champions for Eurovision that year since they did, after all, give game changing performances. Number 2. Love Love Peace Peace. Monsel Merleuf and Petra Mieda. Look into the TV camera so the audience can see. That you lovable, not desperate, smiling, they will vote for me. Fill the stage with light as death. Alright, so this isn't an actual ESC entry, but the epic scale of this performance would be criminal to ignore. A love letter to what makes Eurovision a wonderful and crazy song competition, the hosts sing about the various tropes and stranger elements from previous entries over the years. Peace, peace, love, love, and a man in a hamster wheel. A man in a hamster wheel? That happened. The stage is a smorgasbord of costume performers dancing and playing alongside past winners of the competition. So whether you recognize the references or are new to Eurovision, it's a lyrical masterpiece to behold. Before we reveal our top Eurovision sensation, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. Dancing Lasha Tumbai, Verka Siduchka from Ukraine. We hope you don't have any plans for the day, because your brain will be playing this song on repeat. Where to begin? The excessively shiny wardrobe? The absurd yet jolly dance moves? I want you to see, uh -huh. I want you to see, uh -huh. The entire performance is a maelstrom of gold and silver, bewitching accordion notes, and flurry of German, Russian, Ukrainian, and English lyrics. Ukraine, 
try and make sense of the performance though, rather enjoy the lively madness that it is. Although Dancing Lasha Tumbai ended in second place, it's a tough act to forget and a winner in our hearts. Okay, hit the end. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day. Yeah!